evening, everyone. Love to see you tonight. For those I haven't met, my name is Rabbi David Englander. I've been privileged to serve here at the Torah for now the past 10 years. In that time, I've seen interfaith work and interfaith groups come and go, as well as the lapse of this community's prior commitment to hold an annual interfaith gathering at this time of year. Which is why I am doubly glad to welcome all of you and my colleagues in the clergy to B'nai Torah tonight. And why I am grateful to both Rabbi Steinhardt and Father Sherman for organizing the Wilkerton Interfaith Clergy Association. Thank you both for, can I say it in a synagogue, resurrecting this most welcome service of Thanksgiving. We are a synagogue that attempts to maintain the practices of our Jewish ancestors in a way that is relevant and engaging to the youngest, the oldest members of our contemporary community. Through worship and study, through learning and action, through inspiration and reflection, through music and even through a sermon here and there, our mission is to partner with God and with each other to create a vibrant community. We can only approach that goal if we establish close ties and lasting relationships with the range of faith communities that we are so proud to have as neighbors. To wit, how many other synagogues, when giving driving directions, say, okay, you'll come down the street and you'll see a church turn there, that's us. <laughs> Rabbi Abraham Joshua Heschel, an activist on many fronts, including his commitment to interfaith work, wrote at a time when gender-inclusive language was still a thing of the future, but I'm going to quote the original text. Religion's task is to cultivate disgust for violence and lies, sensitivity to other people's suffering, the love of peace. God has a stake in the life of every man. He never exposes humanity to a challenge without giving humanity the power to face the challenge. Different are the languages of prayer, but the tears are the same. We have a vision in common of Him, in whose compassion all men's prayers meet. Tonight brings meeting and brings friendship, and it brings a reminder that our message is so often one and the same. A belief in God who makes peace in the heavens and who will also make peace for us and for the world. A peace that is brought closer at hand when we partner with each other and when we partner with God. I wish all of you a very happy Thanksgiving. I'm going to ask you to turn with me to the song that's in the middle of your booklet. It's from Psalm 92. And we'll read it responsibly. It's just in the middle of the book, but at the top it says Psalm 92, verses 2 through 6. Everyone have it. It is a good thing to give thanks to God. <laughs> to declare your loving kindness in the morning. <laughs> with an instrument of ten strings and with the lute. For you, O oh God, have made me glad through your work. How great are your works, O oh God. The righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. Planted in the house of the Creator. They shall still bring forth fruit in old age. To declare that Almighty God is upright. Privilege now to call on Rabbi David Spiner. Before we continue. 
continue with the choir, I would like to introduce you to the clergy who are leading the service that are with us this evening. Dr. Charles Wissick, who is a retired pastor and a professor of Princeton Theological Seminary. Rabbi Dan Levin of Temple Bethel here in Boca Raton. Reverend Robert L. Endershaft, who is the pastor at our neighboring church, Good uh, Shepherd Church, right at the beginning of our program, of our program. It's a pleasure to walk. welcome Dr. Hassan Al-Khalabi. Uh, Dr. Hassan is the um, representative of the uh, Islamic Center of Boca Raton, we also welcome uh, we welcome Mrs. Alawabi to our midst this evening. We're happy about somebody with us. Cantor Beach Spielman is the cantor of the Nazar congregation. Uh, the Reverend Dr. Richard Barber. From Advent Lutheran Church. Father Andrew Sherman, uh, my partner here from St. Gregory's Episcopal Church. And to Stephen Evanstone, here from the Torah Congregation. Rabbi Robert Silver, so the name Israel. Hi, everybody. Hi. And Rabbi Amy Rader, also from the Natura Congregation, as well as Rabbi David Bowman. Rabbi David Bowman is the newest member of the Rabbinic community here in our local town. Welcome, David. Uh, this is the group that has been truly open hearts and open minds. We're trying to uh, get the interfaith conversation uh, moving on a significant, uh, a significant place here in our community. I want to ask everyone to please rise to the counter and the choir to lead us at least. Feel free to join along in God bless America. 